எனக்கு தமிழ் கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் தெரியும் பேசான்னு தெரியாது தட் இஸ் ஐ வில் ஸ்பீக் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் பிரசிடென்ட் ஆஃப் த மீட்டிங் அமன் நடராஜன் மெம்பர் ஆஃப் பார்லிமெண்ட் வி வேர் டுகெதர் இன் ஏ பார்லிமெண்டரி கமிட்டி டூரிங் மை பார்லிமெண்டரி டேஸ் ஐ வாஸ் இன் த ராஜசபா அட் தட் டைம் அண்ட் ஆனரபிள் மினிஸ்டர் தாமு அன்பரசன் ஜி மினிஸ்டர் ஃபார் ஸ்மால் அண்ட் மீடியம் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் அண்ட் ஆஃபீஸ் பேரியர்ஸ் ஆஃப் கோ கோயம்புத்தூர் எம்எஸ்எம்இ அசோசியேஷன் அண்ட் அதர் டிக்னேட்ரிஸ் ஹூ ஆர் ப்ரெசன்ட் ஓன் அண்ட் ஆஃப் த டைஸ் மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு பி ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் organized by the Coimbatur MSME Association for protecting the MSMEs. Actually, I had a very hectic schedule in the morning, 10 programs in Kochi. I have to attend the assembly session tomorrow morning in Thiruvanduvaram. Tomorrow is my question day. I have to answer the first three questions in the legislative assembly. but the compulsion of the president nadrajan ji and office bearers of msmes they told me you should be here they gave me a whip that is why i am here and happy to see you all of you and the minister msme sector have played a major role in the growth of various economies worldwide in our country around 48 percentage of the industry output from msme sector and around 40 percentage of the total exports also from msme sector the advantage of msme sector is the capital and employment generation ratio is very high that is the major advantage for big industries the investment may be high lakh crores of rupees but the generation of employment is only thousands but for msmes from crores of rupees we could create more employment in micro small medium that is up to 50 crores of investment and 250 crores of turnover that is come under msme definition as per the central government guideline but the msme sector are facing serious crisis now all over the country some sector of msmes could not overcome the crisis created by the demonetization fears back collapse of some sector of msme industries was a result of the policy of the union government at that time thereafter the pandemic covid most of the msmes accounts had turned like npa there is no relief from the banks to give a hand to the msme to overcome this crisis the third point is the implementation of gst we were in the committee at that time in the committee on finance to overlook this msme this gst bill at that time no state government has the authority to give any tax relief to any sector after the implementation of gst because everything is centralized to gst council de facto it is the decision of the union government in united states of america the government either republican or democratic government they could not implement gst even now because of the strong protest from the provinces thanks to the federal structure of united states of america they could not implement gst there that is the model of capitalist country of the world but they could not implement gst till now due to the strong protest from provincial governments but in india gst is the regime tax regime of the day earlier the state government can give some could have some relief to the msme sector after recognizing the crisis now the state government has the power to impose tax on two items only one alcohol another petrol 
that is the power of the state government to impose taxes after the implementation of the GST. The next issue that is the policies of the central government. They are giving more incentives to the corporate sector MNCs, giving more tax concessions and the banks are also in the same way. Very easy to get loans for big corporates. But for MSMEs, they are facing serious problems from the banks. And if we could never hear any takeover of the properties of MNCs due to NPA, but that is the order of the day of the MSMEs, daily takeover of their properties and so and so on. Then we should have a joint effort to overcome this crisis. I hope this type of meetings would help us to give more momentum to the joint resistance to these type of unilateral policies of the union governments. In Kerala, we have another way of development, alternative way of development. Earlier, we have focused on social service sector, and healthcare education that have resulted in increased quality of life indices, many of which are on par with the developed world. And also the purchasing power of the Kerala people are very high due to these policies. 24.4 percentage of the households of Kerala are owning a car, four-wheeler. That is almost near to United States of America. In your state, that is, I think, 6.5 percentage of the households are having one car. In out of one out of three Keralaites having a vehicle, either bike, scooter, or car. But in big industries and industrial sector, Tamil Nadu is far uh, in front of Kerala in different segments including small industries, big industries, you have sufficient land, we are not having that much of land, we are only having 1.1 percentage of the land and several environmental issues are there, one side is belongs to CRZ, one side belongs to West Engard in between wetland, now this buffer zone, several environmental issues we are facing and the um, wage are very high in state of Kerala compared to other states because of the cost of living is very high compared to other states. Now we are focusing on certain sectors as priority sectors. One is MSME, another is public sector units. Few years back, the union government has decided to privatize two paper mills, one in Assam, Hindustan Paper Corporation, one in Kerala, Hindustan News Print Limited. Due to the closure of the Assam paper mill, 105 employees died only because of the closure of that mill. In HNL in Kerala, Hindustan News Print Limited, the government of Kerala had expressed their willingness to take over that factory, but the union government had not agreed for that proposal. And after participating in the bidding process, the state government take over that factory. Thereafter, we had established a new factory, Kerala Paper Products Limited. And now this paper company had started its commercial production. 18 newspapers, including Tamil newspapers, now utilizing the newsprint produced by state public sector, Kerala Paper Products Limited. That is our alternative to the union government policies. Now we are focusing on MSMEs. I have earlier mentioned the limitation of Kerala, the land problems of state of Kerala. But our advantage is highly skilled human resources. Then we are focusing on MSMEs. We have decided to observing this financial year 22-23 as a year of enterprises. We have fixed a target to establish one lakh MSME in a year. That is a Herculean task in this scenario. All of you well aware of the difficulties facing in the MSME sector. Then 
um, we have taken several step, steps to streamline all the process for getting licenses and getting loans from banks also. Kerala has been the first state in the country to enact a one-stop omnibus legislation aimed at facilitating smooth passage for investors called the Kerala Investment Promotion and Facilitation Act. The single window interface for fast and transparent clearance, case shift. And the Invest Kerala helped us have also been path-breaking IT-enabled initiatives to simplify the process. Now anybody can start an industry in the state of Kerala in MSME sector without any licenses for three years. A law passed by the government legislative assembly recently. Anybody can start without any licenses for three years. After three years, within six months, they could obtain the relevant licenses from different authorities. Now we have constituted a separate body to give a composite license to MSME sector. And we have taken initiative for a centralized inspection system. Normally we are facing several complaints with regard to the inspection. Now we have a cases. Kerala centralized inspection system. All inspection on the basis of a software. No subjective factor. A labor officer or a factory inspector, he could not select a factory for inspection. The software selects which company he should go. Randomly selected the officer and the company. That is a Kerala centralized inspection system. An ease of doing business index result is testament to the skew of finance radical initiatives the state has undertaken to attract inward investment and simplify industry government interfaces. Kerala has secured the 15th now, earlier it was 28th. Now in this MSME sector, I have earlier mentioned, we have decided to observe the la this financial year as a year of enterprises. End the Samdambam Nad in the Bimanam. That is the slogan. That is my enterprises, pride of the state. We have put forth an ambitious target for establishing 1 lakh micro, small, and medium enterprises in the state this financial year. The year of enterprise program is conceptualized as a joint effort of major departments of the state government, including local self government. Animal husbandry, agriculture, fisheries, cooperative, tourism, etc., coordinated by the Department of Industries. The objective of the program was to strengthen industry ecosystem to commence at least 1 lakh enterprises and create at least 3 lakh jobs in the state in 2022-23. The scheme objectives were met through the coverage, convergence, and support of all line departments and industrial stakeholders such as Industrial Association, FICI, CIA, Small Scale Industries Association, and also PSUs and banks. We have recruited 1,153 Indians, that is BTEC and MBA qualified youth as a Indians at all local bodies. One Indian for a Panjayat, one Indian for 20 divisions of a municipality and corporation to assist the entrepreneurs for establishing new enterprises. And help desk were established at all local bodies across the state, through which the public could avail the services of the Indians in all industry enterprises setting up related matters. Continuous campaign starting from general orientation training to potential entrepreneurs, loan license subsidy mela for entrepreneurs, marketing festival for providing marketing avenues to newly formed enterprises were conducted at all local bodies. Committees were established at state, district and local body levels for monitoring the progress of the initiative. For MSME facilitation, Kerala Enterprises Loan Scheme, we have introduced a new loan scheme after the consultation of SLBC, that is up to 10 lakhs to all new enterprises and interest subvention. The entrepreneurs should give 4 percentage of the interest. Other part bear by the government of Kerala. That is the interest subvention scheme for MSMEs. And we have constituted 59 entrepreneur facilitation center at taluk level. An MSME clinic at district level. 
if a problem is facing by an MSME, either in technical, marketing, financial, management, they can approach the district MSME clinic. There is a panel of experts and institution. The government of Kerala will give the remuneration to these experts, uh, individual experts and the institutions. And also, we are giving support to legal, marketing, DPR preparation, export, GST, technology, concerns, license and banking to give support to enterprises in need. And we have conducted trade fairs only for MSMEs in all taluks and district level. Now we have decided to uh, establish a separate marketing mechanism in ration shop and consumer fed and cooperative supermarket exclusively for MSME products. And also we are conducting B2B linkages. Kerala brand was introduced to give a unique identity for the indigenous product. A state-owned online marketing. We are starting an e-commerce platform for MSMEs and PSUs in the state of Kerala. As of March 2023, up to today, 1,34,770 New MSME units were established in the state of Kerala under this scheme, Year of Enterprises. An investment was 8,045 8 crores of rupees, an employment generation of 2,89,58. The initiative was presented as a best practice before the Honorable Prime Minister in the Prime Minister's Conference of Chief Secretaries and received national acknowledgement. We are planning a slew of short-term and long-term initiatives such as campaigns and capacity building program for ensuring the sustainability of new established unit. And also we have taken a new mechanism that is scaling up M2S and S2 big M, micro to small and small to big industries. We are giving special incentive scheme and also we are and holding these industries for scaling up. We are giving support for export. We are giving support for working capital, uh, overcome the working capital crisis. And also we are giving incentive for upgradation of technology and also upgradation of machineries. And our objective is in the coming year, 1,000 potential MSMEs in the state will be scaled up to become entities with 1 lakh crore turnover within the next four years through handholding of identified enterprises. The government has declared a package of 1,000 crores to promote a comprehensive Make in Kerala initiative to increase domestic production. Targeted program will be introduced through self-help group SHGs for promoting self-employment. One local body, one product. Central government has a scheme, ODOP, one district, one product. We have decentralized that one local body, one product. Sometimes one product for uh, tens of local bodies, but there is a, uh, there should be a product for a local body specifically, and we are giving specific incentive to the local body for promoting the production of that product. This scheme will be introduced to identify regional products at all local bodies for industrial production and marketing. Now. Our Honorable MP has mentioned about the plantation sector. Recently, plantation was under the portfolio of Labor Department in state of Kerala. Now it has come under the uh, under my department, Industry Department. We have established a plantation directorate exclusively for plantation in the state of Kerala. This is first in the country for the plantation directorate exclusively for plantation uh, sector. And we have 46% 46, uh, 46 of the plantation of the country is in state of Kerala. We are trying to give more incentive uh, for value addition to the plantation products. And we can working together to create a joint resistance to the anti-MSME policies of the union government. And also we are joining hands to strengthen the MSME sector, the backbone of the Indian economy. And I would like to extend our, my gratitude to the MSME Association for inviting me to this uh, important program. Thank you. Thank you very much.